guys, welcome back to another video. I've missed you guys so much. I've missed filming, chit-chatting with you. Um, I am doing, I would like to say about 90% better. I think you guys can hear my voice. I'm still just a little bit congested. It's not anything insane. Um, but let me just tell you, COVID really kicked my butt. Like, I'm not even going to sit here and lie. It was horrible it was absolutely horrible i also wanted to say thank you so much for all of your get well wishes they meant the absolute world i swear your positive vibes your well wishes prayers like they all helped i was so out of it but i am back now it did not keep me down for too long honey okay so i figured the perfect comeback video would be a favorites video i feel like i haven't done one in so long so here i am i have quite a few products in front of me i've discovered so many products in the past couple of months or however long it's been since i filmed my last favorites video so i'm really excited to talk about products that i have been loving share them with you swatch them for you so you guys can really get into them all right so i want to jump straight into my favorites so my first favorite that i want to talk about are these beautiful roses from Rose Forever New York. I have spoken about these before. This is how it comes. They have a ton of different sizes, shapes, so it kind of just depends on your budget or it depends on what type of design you're looking for. They also have tons of colors, which is so fun. They have your classic red, they have purple, they have white, they have pink, they have yellow, and they are so vibrant. These roses actually last a whole year, which is incredible. So. I have been absolutely in love with these you guys ever since they gifted these to me they have been sitting in my beauty room I will actually show you guys I will insert a little side by side so you guys can see exactly where these are placed in my beauty room and I feel like it just gives the room just like an elegant vibe like when you come into my room and you look around like these really catch your eye they're so beautiful so luxe the box is even really nice it's a really nice velvet box you guys can see the printing in the front or the logo in the front is gold it is just stunning so they were kind enough to give me a discount code for you guys which I will go ahead and put right here on the screen and it's always going to be in the description box now I do believe that this code is for a limited time so if I were you definitely if you're interested check them out so that way you guys can get a nice deal on your own roses also like girl send it to your significant other like a little hint hint get it for yourself okay because we're all baddies you've been working hard you want something cute to have in your room something really nice and chic these are so you guys i mean they're so beautiful and this color is gorgeous like are you guys surprised that i did get pink and i got yellow i know like who am i but you guys know i have a lot of gold detailing in my room and i just feel like the yellow just it just put the icing on the cake for me. So, like I said, the brand is Forever Rose New York. The link is going to be down below in the description box. If you guys are interested, definitely check them out. Let's get into the makeup. That's what we're all here for, right? So, I have a lot of stuff in front of me. Um, I guess we can kind of start in order-ish, I would say. Maybe. Yeah, let's start in order. So, let's start with foundation. So, I have been loving actually quite a few foundations, but these two, actually these three, I have three in front of me, are pretty new to my collection. And like I said, it's been a long time since I've done a favorites video. Um, I am wearing one of them today, so I will be sharing with you which one I'm wearing. So, the first one that I have here is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. This is an oil-free foundation with an SPF of 30. I love this foundation, you guys. It is so good. Recently, it was on sale at Sephora. Pretty much all the shades are sold out at this point. I don't know if they're pulling it because they're getting rid of it. That would be so unfortunate because this foundation is so good. And I feel like I had been wanting to try it for a long time, but I just finally got my hands on it. Maybe like... A month or two ago and like now it's on sale and I don't know if it's getting discontinued they're changing the formula packaging like you just never know so I'm a little bummed about that but if you can get your hands on it maybe it's still on the Shiseido website as always you guys everything is always linked in my description box can I just take a moment to say that it takes a lot of work to link every single product so like you don't have to go on the internet and try to find the things that I'm talking about they're literally right in the description box with the link. All you need to do is go down there and click on it. I will say sometimes there are links down there to products where I do make a small commission if you decide to purchase through that link. Um, but like there's no pressure. If you wanted to find the things on your own, no pressure. I'm just saying that it's a little more convenient because it's right there 
if you want to try anything that you see in today's video. Um, but yeah, this foundation is really nice. I have the shade Bamboo. You guys, it's full coverage without looking full coverage. And that's the kind of foundations that I go for. I am more normal to dry skin and I feel like this just looks so nice on my skin. But I feel like even for someone with oily skin, you will like this because it is oil free. Um, it's bomb. Like it's it's so good. You guys know if you watch my channel, I never recommend something that I have not tried a ton of times or I have not used myself or something that I haven't truly been like reaching for very often. And this is just one of those products that I have been using it non-stop. Especially if you guys watch my tutorials, then you already know that and I don't need to say much because you've been seeing me use it. The next foundation is actually the newest foundation that I've tried. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin. I know this is not super, super new to the market, but it is very new to me. I just tried this like literally maybe three weeks ago. It's so good. I don't remember if I loved the original HD foundation from Makeup Forever, the one that had the black cap. Um, but this one is so good. It is very skin-like. The only thing that I will say about this one is it almost sets quickly. Like, I feel like when I apply it to my skin, I have to blend it in right away because I feel like it's not something that I can kind of leave. Like, I can't put it all over my face, do one side of my face, and then by the time I get to the other side, I feel like it's a little dry down. I don't know if that's just me. Let me know if you tried this foundation. If you have, do you have that same problem? Um, but it's a really nice foundation. It does claim to be undetectable. I do agree with that. Um, I love the shade range, you guys. I feel like they have a shade for everyone. It's really beautiful. Love the new packaging. Like, it's just really nice, especially if you're looking for something super long-wearing. This. This is your girl. Okay, like, this is gonna last. Sweat, humidity, like, it's, it's so good. I definitely recommend it. And then the third foundation is this one right here. This is the Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation. This is the foundation that I'm wearing today. This is full coverage, honey. Okay, this is full coverage without looking like you're wearing 10 pounds of foundation. It's very skin-like, but it is full on coverage. Another thing that I really love about this foundation is it is Il Maquillage, which means you can only get it on their website. However, they do have a quiz. It's called a Power Match Quiz. And basically what you do is you go on there, it asks you a few questions, your undertones. Do you prefer a warm foundation, a cool foundation, a neutral foundation? They also ask you what current foundation you're using and what shade you're using. So that way they can get an idea of what shade to match you to. And it literally matches you to the shade that they think you'll be and I did the test and this shade is spot on like it is spot on I don't think there's probably any other shade in their line that will match me as good as this I was actually blown away because 99% of the time those quizzes they don't work but this one was pretty accurate so I really like this foundation you guys can see by all three of these that I'm into more full coverage if I'm not using full coverage I am typically wearing like a skin tint which brings me to my next product this right here is the YSL this is their new bare look tint so it's basically a skin tint in a nutshell in a fancy way because it's a bougie brand but this is what it looks like right here it comes in a beautiful tube it is very aesthetically pleasing you can tell she's bougie but not as expensive as i expected i don't think this is like super up there please don't quote me on that like i said everything will be down below and what i'll try to do actually is put these products on the screen and maybe put the prices i don't know we'll see i'm not making any promises but this is a really nice skin tint it doesn't have as much coverage as a lightweight foundation um what can i compare this to it doesn't have as much coverage as like the beauty blender skin tint if you've tried that product already you know that product actually has really beautiful coverage and it's buildable this is buildable but you're not going to get a medium coverage out of this i feel like it's more sheer to light coverage it's best for like an everyday kind of thing like you just want to even out your skin tone maybe you have some redness that you want to kind of cancel out this is perfect for that the only thing about these skin tints and i feel like people are getting confused is they don't have spf like the Beauty Blender Skin Tint does not contain SPF. This skin tint does not contain SPF. So you still have to wear your sunscreen as you should daily. Um, so you'd still have to wear your sunscreen underneath this. But this is a really beautiful product. I have mine in the shade NUA. And let me just go ahead and swatch it for you. Maybe I should actually swatch the other foundations too. Because if you guys are around my skin tone, maybe it gives you an idea. So here is the YSL foundation it is so nice and you guys are going to be able to tell by my swatches that I personally enjoy a more warm 
um, let's say olive tone kind of undertone. I don't know why. I don't feel like I'm an olive undertone. I feel like I'm more of like a neutral maybe undertone. A lot of people tell me I'm a little warm, but I like my foundation a little more warm, olive, that kind of thing. Because I feel like once I go ahead and lighten up and brighten up my face with concealer, it kind of all comes together. I hope that makes sense. So let me just swatch the other foundations for you guys too. This next one here is the Il Maquillage Foundation. Um, this one is in the shade 105. So 105 and here is a swatch of that one. But do you guys see what I'm saying? Like literally the perfect match. It is so nice. This one right here is the Shiseido Synchro Skin in the shade Bamboo. I believe it's 330 Bamboo. Another beautiful shade. Also keep in mind I have a lot of color right now you guys because it is summertime and I am in Florida so I feel like summer started way earlier for us than it usually typically would for everyone else so I've got a lot of color right now all right and then the last one here is the makeup forever and this one is the thickest formula out of all four of these this one is in the shade 2y03 and here is what that shade looks like so you guys can pretty much see all four of them are more of that warmer under all right you guys let's talk concealer a little bit shall we so this right here is the brand new huda beauty faux filter concealer you guys this concealer is so bomb I personally loved her original concealer. I think it was really nice, had great coverage, and I personally liked the metal tip applicator. That was the first time I had ever seen one of those metal tip applicators in a cosmetic product. Usually you see them in like under eye creams with like skincare companies. Back to this concealer, it's really nice. I don't feel like they did much with the formula, which I really appreciate because like I said, I really love the original one anyway. I love the fact that she kept the color range so it's not super confusing. So if you had her overachiever concealer, you are the same shade in this new faux filter concealer so I got mine in the shade nougat because that was the shade that I used in her last one it is divine okay the packaging is super convenient now obviously um, I really love the doe foot applicator I will go ahead and swatch it for you guys and it's just it's so nice like it's just so good so here is what the applicator looks like I went and put it super up close so you guys can really get into it she's a big mama okay and then here is a swatch of that concealer my concealer compared to my foundation is super light okay I like a super bright under eye that is just my preference I've recently rediscovered this concealer it is bomb like I am ready to start using products that I remember loving like I would love to do a video like that where I'm talking about like products that I used to obsess with that I don't use anymore not because I may not like them anymore maybe it's just because you know there's always makeup coming out so I'm just trying to stay on trend but this is one of those concealers that I feel like it never gets old like every single time I use it after not using it for a while it blows my mind this is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer this concealer is so freaking good it is so good I actually remember buying this in a darker shade which I have to look for it it's probably sitting in my drawer but you guys this concealer is so good and it is a multi-use concealer you can buy a lighter shade to brighten up your under eyes and all like the center of your face if you'd like to you can get a darker one and use it as a cream bronzer like it is so good and it's one of those concealers where you really have that play time so you can apply it underneath your eyes let it sit while you're doing something else and then blend it out I feel like if you wait or you don't wait you still get amazing coverage with this product it's just bomb if you haven't picked it up in a while and you've tried it before but like you don't remember if you loved it pick it up again if you haven't tried it also pick it up because I think you'll fall in love it is so good okay let's talk about a mascara I have seen a really big difference like when I'm doing my eye makeup and then I curl my lashes go in with the mascara almost to like prep it to put my falsies on and this mascara is so nice this is the Patrick Ta major volume mascara now I really also love the Rare Beauty Mascara. The only thing I didn't love about that one and the reason why I didn't repurchase was because it's super hard to take off. It feels as if it is waterproof, but it's not waterproof. Once you apply it to your lashes, it's really hard to get off. This on the other hand, I feel like it gives me that same beautiful volume, curl, length. I can build it up. It's not clumpy. It doesn't give me that spidery lashes. But at the end of the day, when I'm ready to take this off, like it's easily removable. I hope that makes sense so let me show you guys what the brush looks like so here's what the brush looks like right here I really like the brush I feel like it's not too big it's not too small it doesn't have any type of weird shape it is just a really nice 
basic mascara. There's no technique to it. There's no special way that you need to know how to use it. It is a simple beginner friendly mascara and I really do enjoy it. It is very good. I really hope that he comes out with a brown version because I would be through the roof. Like I'd be so excited. That's all we're missing is a brown version of this mascara. So this product is numerous in my collection. I have been using it for about a month let's say for about a month consecutively every single night and I did stop for a good two weeks when I got COVID I was just girl I'm telling you right now skincare was the last thing on my mind I was not worried about washing my face applying moisturizer SPF none of that I was so sick that like I couldn't even get out of my bed like I wasn't going anywhere like it just wasn't happening um, but before that I was using this every single night like not missing a night and I swear the difference in the texture, the brightness, like the smoothness, it was just insane. This right here is the Bare Minerals. I know you guys, Bare Minerals. When's the last time you heard of somebody talk about Bare Minerals? Well, they have some hidden gems, so let me put you on to one. This is the Bare Minerals. This is a part of their Ageless line. This is basically their plant-based retinol. So I know there's a lot of people out there who struggle with finding a really good retinol that is safe for their skin. A lot of people get super sensitive to retinol. They get an allergy to it. And that is because retinol is extremely strong. Okay, usually retinol is one of those ingredients that like you get prescribed because it's strong and it can be damaging if you don't use it correctly or in conjunction with the correct products that you need to be using it with. Like I said, this is a plant-based retinol, which means that it's going to be less invasive on the skin, which is really nice. It's obviously not your harsh retinol, so it's going to take a little bit more time to transform your skin, but I personally feel like after using it for a week, that I've seen a difference and that says a lot because I've tried a lot of skincare products and I've always been really skeptical on trying retinol because I know I have pretty sensitive dry skin and so when I discovered this one I was like well if it's plant-based I should be okay and thankfully my skin is doing great it's thriving I actually just used this again last night since I am back up and running but it's really good. I feel like it's help with redness on my cheeks. I feel like it's help with texture, smoothness. If you guys deal with Melia, if you guys know what that is, they're like these hard white bumps. They look like whiteheads, but they're not whiteheads. They're something that it never goes away. It's like a little white bump. Look them up. They're called Melias. I actually have one on each under eye. It is the most annoying thing ever. Like, I'm already ready to start getting facials to get rid of them. If you guys have any tips on how I can get rid of them, let me know. They're super, super tiny. I heard that they can grow. I hope that mine don't. But yeah, I do have one on the left side of my under eye and then kind of like my cheek area on the right side of my face, which is really annoying. But I feel like with this, they have almost minimized, not completely diminished, but they have minimized, I guess, from using the retinol. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm sorry for the long explanation, but... It's a very, very good product. Let me show you guys the consistency. I don't want to waste it, okay, because she's a little expansive. But let me just, let me, let me show the girlies. So here's what the consistency looks like. And you guys can see it is a more runny texture, but it's really nice. I feel like a little bit of this goes a really long way. And also it's plant-based. The smell, you guys, the smell is divine. It smells really nice. It's not heavily fragranced. So yeah, you guys, that's basically my little spiel. I am not getting paid to say this, but this retinol is so good. If you are looking for anti-aging, you want to start, getting ahead of fine lines and wrinkles and saggy skin and texture and pores this is your girl thank me later alrighty so let's move on to cream bronzer I feel like I don't have to say too much so let's get this let's get through this quickly I feel like I'm also talking a lot because this is the first time that I'm filming since getting better so I hope you guys don't mind it's a little bit of a longer video but I've missed you. So this right here is the Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick. I don't know if I've talked about this in a favorites video. It's amazing. Let me show you the color. This is in the shade Happy Soul. Mine looks disgusting. And also, we're not going to swatch her too much, okay? Because she's a gem to find. Rare Beauty has been so hard to come across. 
every Sephora is sold out of everything. I don't know if it's a manufacturer kind of thing or if people are just really going crazy for the brand and like they get it in shipment on Monday and by Monday afternoon it's gone. Like I really don't know the tea, but girl, trying to get your hands on Rare Beauty has been insane. But here's the shade right here. This is the shade Happy Soul. Listen, I feel like cream bronzer has become a staple in everyone's makeup routine it's kind of like those people who need like an under eye corrector before concealer like I feel like it's not a necessity but it is at the same time do you get me so I have been obsessed with cream bronzers I feel like so many brands have been dropping them and they're all so good so the next one that I want to talk about is Fenty Beauty this is the Fenty Beauty matchstick in the shade mocha these don't get enough love these are really really great products this shade is so beautiful if you like a warming cream if you like a warmer cream bronzer you would love this it is so good i really like it a lot i'll actually swatch it next to the rare beauty um i will say what you guys will see by the swatch that you guys can see there so the fenty beauty is this one and i just touched it with my nail but the fenty beauty is that one girl that one and then this one over here is, you guys even my memory card said girl you're talking too much i literally it was full i had to stop recording to make some space but i don't know where it stopped but i was showing you guys the comparison between the rare beauty which is this one right here and then this is the matchstick from fenty beauty so you guys can see the fenty beauty is definitely a little bit deeper and it has less shine it doesn't have not that the rare beauty is shiny but the fenty beauty is definitely more matte even upon applying it on the skin and then the newest one that i've been obsessed with i just need to buy the medium Shade, but it has been sold out which says a lot because girl it's super hard to find this is the brand new lys no limits cream bronzing stick so they actually sent this to me they sent me the shade motivate and i think the shade that i need is humble i think maybe i will leave the shade that i think that i am down below in the description box but i'll link this one as well if you guys want this shade but it is super creamy. The major difference between this one and the other two is this one right here is very, very emollient and not in a bad way. I hate to use that word with products because I feel like people think that it's like oily. It's not oily. It's just, I don't know. It's just like very, very creamy. It's extremely creamy. Let's say that. But you guys can see compared to the other cream bronzer shades that I use, that LYS one is very very light anyways i am super grateful that they said to me it's just too light but the formula so so good i cannot wait to get my hands on the shade that i need when it comes back in stock so also for bronzer i've been using this fenty beauty bronzing palette so i wanted to mention it in today's video now mine is a little hurt okay don't don't judge her she's been through it okay i actually only dropped this one time and uh, the two highlighter shades, they fell out. So love that for me. But basically, it's Fenty's bronzing palette. And you basically get all of her bronzer shades. Or maybe maybe not all of them. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe some of her bronzing shades in this palette. It's so beautiful, you guys. Because you get so many tones in here. So if you're a makeup artist, I think you would love this. The shimmers, when they were in here, were absolutely beautiful. I used to use them as eyeshadow, not as highlights they were stunning i dropped this palette only one time so keep that in mind that this palette is super super sensitive and those shimmers will fall out with no problem they're very very lightly pressed whereas the bronzers are a little bit more hard if that makes sense like they're really packed in the pan so they were fine they didn't even chip nothing like that when it fell and it even fell like on my carpet okay like i mean that's it was bad for me because i had to clean up shimmer off my carpet but like you would think that the shimmers wouldn't have fell out but they did so i mean it is what it is anyway point being that i've been loving this palette for using it on myself i've been using it in a lot of my tutorials because i love the fact that i have all the tones that i need right in this palette so i usually mix the first three shades you guys can see the first one is super light and then you have the middle shade which is a really nice shade then you have this shade right here which i absolutely love i basically just mix the three it's the perfect concoction and i am obsessed you guys it is so good and it's also really affordable so definitely recommend it the next thing that i want to talk about is what's making my lips super shiny okay this product went viral on tiktok I decided to pick it up because it's TikTok. Like, like this video if 
TikTok has made you buy something. Because I'm pretty sure that all of us have been persuaded to buy a thing or two or a hundred or ten from TikTok. So this right here is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump, you guys. I'm pretty sure you have seen these all over the place. I got it in the infamous shade that actually went viral, which is White Peach. So the only thing about this product is it's super creamy to the point where like while you're applying it to your lips like the product's literally like melting so like i would it's a clicker pen too by the way you guys so i wouldn't click it all the way up to where you have a ton of product at the top just because like i said as you apply it to your lips it kind of just melts down i usually click it up just to like that much just till that little bit of product that i know i'm about to use on my lips and let me use this mirror let me show you guys okay because i've been talking even though my lips still look really shiny, but I mean, is that not the most beautiful shine ever? And also, it's actually a lip plumper, which is really nice. It's not a super burning, stinging, tingling sensation. It's not painful whatsoever. It's more of like a minty, like you're chewing gum. So like if it accidentally gets in your mouth, it's not like, oh my god, I'm gonna puke. No, it's like, it's, it's really nice. I really have been enjoying it. I definitely want to pick up some more shades, but this shade, which is White Peach, so beautiful and you guys can see the shine it is stunning i've been obsessed with this product it is really good and then the last thing okay one more product you guys i have a million products i've been loving but these patrick star one size cheek clappers are sensational you can see my whole mess on my desk it's fine but these are sensational specifically this one i do have three of them this is my favorite shade it's what i'm wearing today it's a beautiful pink but it almost has like a peachy pinky moment so in this little palette or in this little trio you do get your cream which is up here and it does have a clear um flap that actually covers your cream so if you want to dip into the powder and not use the cream that day you can willingly do so without getting your powder mixed with your cream basically then you have your powder and then you have another powder but this one is a shimmer so you have a matte and a shimmer and your cream you don't need anything else this one right here is in the shade fat ass you guys know i don't like to curse on my channel so i'm just keeping it real i do not want to curse on my channel um but it's really good but like even though the trio that's the name of the trio like I think that eventually he's gonna come out with singles and here's why because the sing like each shade has its own name like the cream is called twerkalicious the matte blush is called rosebud and then the shimmer one is called bbl did anyone notice that or did anyone have that thought that maybe eventually he's going to release them in single pans because why would he have like you know if not you would think that just the trio had a name I might be a smart girl okay anyway you guys that basically completes this favorites video um like i said i had a million things i wanted to talk about but i was like let me sit and talk about the things that i have been using nonstop. and truthfully these are those products my ysl is more of my everyday running errands then i have my full coverage beat with my shishado makeup forever and my il maquillage my skincare product that has blown my mind in the past few weeks um so i feel like overall it was a really nice well-rounded favorites video i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to check out forever rose new york if you guys are interested in getting your own beautiful bouquet of roses that are going to last you a whole year and i am so excited to be back and to be filming i'm not going to commit to giving you guys the three videos a week at this moment just because like i said i'm like 90 percent there i'm still some days i feel great in an hour i might feel like a little you know yucky again so i'm just taking the days as they come and just reminding myself to take time to heal my body and get better so i can be back a hundred percent um but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching i hope you all are doing well and i'll see you in my next one bye guys